Having inherited his older brother's lands in the year 200, Sun Quan was confirmed by Cao Cao's Han government as the legitimate lord over the Jiangdong region. He set in motion a strategy proposed by Lu Su to take control over all of Liu Biao's lands, so the first obstacle on the path to dominating Jing was Jiangsha Commandery. Sun Quan had a personal stake in the campaign because its administrator, Wang Zhu, was the man responsible for Sun Jian's death 12 years ago. With several thousand of men at most, Ling Tao was appointed to be the leader of the vanguard fleet, then ordered to ferry away first, while Sun Quan kept the larger ships with himself for his slower advance. In anticipation of the enemy, the high-ranking naval officer, Wang Zhu, assigned Deng Long and Chen Jui to be his joint acting vanguards. They led the fleet of warships carrying the 30,000-strong army from Jiangxia to Xiaoku, where they set up a defence line. As Ling Tao beelined towards Jiangxia, he encountered the enemy navy at the Xiaoku riverbank, their large vessels spread out far and wide. Undaunted by the larger enemy army, he considered it his duty as vanguard leader to eliminate any enemy standing in his lord's path. He sailed way ahead of his men, darting straight towards the heart of Wang Zhu's fleet. The small unit skimmed past uninterrupted, as their unexpected attack caught the enemy off guard. Ling Tao had cleared a path in front of him to Wang Zhu's flagship, before his enemy even had time to react. Fearing for his life, Wang Zhu abandoned ship onto a small boat and sailed away, leaving his navy impaired without leadership. When his men saw their commander retreating, they started to desert their posts, then scrambled to retreat, resulting in a total collapse of the naval formation. In the midst of the chaotic fighting, Ling Tao disregarded his own safety and jumped onto a light vessel looking to claim Huang Zhu's head for Sun Quan. He was making good progress as he gave chase, but in doing so he entered into range of the rearguard soldiers. Among them was Gar Ning, who was a crack shot. When he saw the pursuit forces closing in, he led a detachment of troops as backup and came to Huang Zhu's rescue. According to the Book of Wu, Gar Ning aimed his bow and shot their commander, killing Ling Tao in action. This saved Wang Zhu to retreat to the safety behind Jiang Xia's walls, where he remained, ignoring the challenges from Sun Quan's main army when they later arrived. Reaching an inconclusive end and unable to advance any further, Xuan soon withdrew back to Jiangdong to deal with the Shan Yue tribes who constantly raided his lands. After the battle, a 15-year-old Ling Tong was appointed as a major of a separate command by Sun Quan, in recognition that his father had died in the service of the Sun family. Many people spoke well of his ability, so the teenager assumed control over his father's soldiers and was allowed to inherit his post as acting colonel who defeats bandits. At Xiangxia, the chief controller, Su Fei, recommended Gan Ning for advancement several times, but he was still despised by his lord because he used to be a pirate. Even though his life was saved at a critical moment, Wang Zhu tried to entice some of Gan Ning's followers to join him, and some of them agreed. Su Fei convinced his friend to defect. I have recommended you several times to our lord, and yet you still haven't been employed. As time keeps passing, how long can a man remain static before he stagnates? One ought to seek far-reaching schemes and people who think the same. Gan Ning remained silent for some time, but eventually replied, Though I have ambition, I have no place to go. Su Fei said to him, I'll recommend you to be appointed as chief of Zhu, thereupon go immediately. Once there, you can shift allegiances. He was relocated, as promised, to a place where he was able to recruit many others who felt just as dissatisfied before leaving for Sun Quan, bringing along with him several hundred people with confidential information on Huang Zhu's forces. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.